Hi everyone, this is trying and share my very late thoughts on the Ruby Volume 6 trailer or teaser trailer because that's pretty much what this trailer is. Now the trailer didn't blow me away in any way or form. I can't wait to see my girls back together and kicking some ass. It looks like they're going to kick ass on another train scene again. Hooray! This is awesome! In terms of context of story, we didn't really got anything. Like, all based on the images or what is revealed to us in the trailer is the fact that they, they need to move the relic to a different to a safe location. At least that's based on my theory. And she's like, not just Salem's cronies are after them, but it seems like other people will have their own selfish interests as well for the relic. At least that's what I'm getting. And then we have to get to this location. We're off on a journey. Hooray! It would have been made more sense to pretty much uh, establish that with a... A moment with Crow explaining this is this is our next move, this is what we need to do, or at least from Oscar. That's something that I think would have benefited for us as fans, at least to get a rough idea. Not wait two weeks for us to say, guess what guys, you guys want to find out uh Ruby Vol what's going on in Ruby Volume Fix, you know, subscribe to the Rooster Team First membership and pay four dollars or five dollars whatever it was to find out. Now, it seems like once again, the triangles to sell the, the membership uh, pitch. The fact that they opened the scene with a uh, very nicely detailed of the of the trees. And and I think this once again shows that Rooster Teeth and Miles and Carey have lost the freaking mark of uh, what is the selling point of this series. All the way back from Volume 1, the reason why anybody paid attention to this show in the first place, especially me, was the cool fight scenes and the cool characters. Not the high-end visual effects, because I knew this uh, from, from Volume 1, uh, this was like a very low-budget indie project. And over the years, the, the fans grew, they supported the series, and eventually it became a, a well-known property. But I would have liked to at least give us some indication, you know, are we going to get character development for Ruby? Because that was the big issue of Volume 5, that a lot of, a lot of these uh, video essays that I discovered on YouTube, and a lot of people, have been, uh, their issues with Volume 5 was the fact that Ruby, who happens to be the main character, didn't got any character development whatsoever in Volume 5. And it seems like uh, My Miles seems to be whining over on Twitter, bitching about people criticizing how he should be criticized. But instead of, you know, taking the constructive criticism and evaluate that, okay, uh, we lost focus in Volume 5. We're going to maintain our focus that Ruby is going to be the main focus of Volume 6. Uh, we're... We're going to develop her character. We're going to see her grow as a leader. That's stuff that I would have loved that they actually addressed in this trailer. You know, show things instead of ending the trailer. Said, what's the plan, Ruby? Let's not anybody die. Oh, really? Like, uh, the fact that uh, Kira died in Volume 3. Uh, we didn't really get any closure for that series. It's like maybe a little bit in Volume 4, which I probably find I like Volume But, you know... I would have liked a little bit more. Now, this is me uh, nitpicking, complaining the fact, oh, the, the, the numbers are going to close in two weeks. Yeah, but, you know, we're in volume six already. You know, you have to give us something. Like, a prime example of this is the, is the marketing for the new Dragon Ball Super movie, Brawly. All right, they dropped the teaser, then they drop a little bit of trailer that we know is confirmed that is Brawly. And now we get a little more context of the story. It's something it self reveals, you know. Now I'm getting more pumped up for that uh, for that movie, and they should have done the same thing for Ruby Volume. Well, that concludes my quick little thoughts on Ruby Volume Six, guys. I'm curious. I'm very curious about what you guys thought about this trailer. You know, uh, are you still on the fence for Ruby Volume Six? Let me know in the comment section. Also, guys, if you're curious about what reviews I make next, you know, subscribe to my channel, and also don't forget that bell icon to get notified. As always, thanks for watching this vid, and I hope to catch you guys in the next vid. Bye.